You may not know, but but we have 60,000 watts. We are one of the largest public radio stations in the country, and we reach a third of California. So if you're in the Central Valley in Modesto, or if you're in parts of Sacramento or up in Santa Rosa, uh, it's unusual to have that strong of a signal. It's something to protect. But to be able to also have local coverage is a key component of our success, our connection with the community and with each other. Uh, Larry Binsky's back on the line. Hey, Larry, good to have you. Hi, Amy. Hi, Brian. And uh, you were with us earlier in the hour. Uh, you had a chance to listen in on uh, what the Pacifica Foundation officials had to say. Your comments. Well, actually, I didn't. I haven't heard the last half hour. I'm uh, actually frantically trying to do what I do, one of the things I do in life, and so I, uh, I've i been away. But one of the things I wanted to come back in and say, Amy, um, if this is in fact the last morning show, which would be a great tragedy, is that one of the reasons I felt okay, somewhat okay, about leaving three and a half years ago was that um, I had worked in the past few years before I left with you and with Brian. Uh, it was a great joy for me to be a co-anchor with you in various broadcasts, including the Democratic National Convention, yeah. with Sonali Kohatkar, with Deepa Fernandez from WBAI in New York, and to work with Brian and, and uh, see him work in the newsroom and have him pick my brain and pirate my Rolodex from time to time and see him produce behind the scenes. I felt that the organization was growing a new generation of people. Um, which inevitably had to happen, and that there were some really good folks like yourselves coming up. Now to have you axed uh, seems to me like or basically uh, chopping off uh, a tree at its roots. And um, if listeners appreciate um, what I did, the remaining listeners who may remember me, uh, you will certainly appreciate what these two people have been doing uh, since I left and indeed before I left, uh, this organization, if it's going to survive, has got to develop the kind of talent that we have a very hard time attracting and an even harder time keeping because of the all the internal conflicts and the pressures and the lack of resources and the low pay and the long hours. Those of us who work in a place like this do it because we are idealists and we believe in the mission and we believe we can fulfill the mission. Right now, that mission is more necessary than ever. I was saying this last hour, but I know morning radio is such that not everybody listens for two hours in a row. Right, right. Um, we're in a political moment right now that is critical and crucial to our nation's future. The rise of the right wing, as we've seen in the recent election, KPFA and Pacifica have to be there and grow stronger, not weaker, in order to give people a voice to try to respond to this and to build alternative institutions. And well, one of the things, uh, Larry, that... Uh uh, both Brian and I uh, have tried to do over the last few years is to bring technology into uh, what we do with radio to evolve uh, how we bring media to people to really match how people are consuming their news and information. Um, we had difficulty uh, internally because there wasn't, wasn't the resources and support to do that. OaklandScene.com was uh, created out of that because we created a Facebook a group, a, a Twitter, and uh, a group blog uh, that supplemented radio broadcasts. Uh, Brian's had uh, innovative ideas of his own. Uh, I think that's also another area that uh, uh, you know KPFA and the Pacifica Radio really is is challenged with. It hasn't 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 done uh, the work that it needs to to be relevant uh, well, in, right. for the future. Complete, completely, you're absolutely right, completely missed the boat uh, since the uprising 10 years ago when we went back control of the station. If you look at the Pacifica.org webpage, for example, today, what's the featured story? It's the 60th anniversary of Pacifica, which took place a year and a half ago. They don't even maintain their own website, much less have streaming video, much less have interactive chat rooms, much less have any of the things that the progressive modern media determines uh, an audience by. Yeah, and we have no, there, KPFA doesn't have a webmaster. It's important to note that. It's insane. You know. It's completely insane. It's led to the further weakening of the organization. It's another battle which I fought and you fought internally, and we didn't get anywhere with previous executive directors and station managers. And now we've got what we've got, a really severely reduced audience, which with the axing of the morning show will be reduced even further, which leads to a descent in fundraising, and then management saying, well, we don't have any money, so we've got to lay off more people. 
Pacifica and KPFA started in two rooms in a shabby office building on University Avenue, which is still there in downtown Berkeley. If listeners want to see it return to that status, then they can sit still for what's happening to you guys right now. Uh, it will be reduced to an extremely, even more marginalized status than it has right now with a shrunken audience, lack of resources to produce the kind of programs that people will listen to, et cetera, et cetera. And it's tragic that this would happen at this point in our history. It is a tragedy. And it's not too late. Um, KPFAworker.org has ways that you can, you and everyone can uh, contact uh, Eileen uh, and uh, other members of the Pacifica Foundation staff. There's a, a protest schedule for 11 a.m. So it's the beginning of the story, uh, just as it's the beginning of a series of c- cuts. And I, I just want to say thank you to everyone who sent me messages on Facebook this morning, uh, texts, emails. And... It was very beautiful. I really appreciate uh, people in the community reaching out and saying how much they appreciate uh, our work here on the morning show because it is about serving the community. I know we have more people, uh, Eileen, that we want to get on the air, but I wanted to make sure and express my appreciation for that. Thanks, Amy. Uh, Again, summing up what's happening here very briefly. You are listening to The Morning Show on KPFA, KPFA or KPFB Berkeley, KFCF Fresno, online at kpfa.org. The entire remaining staff of KPFA's Morning Show has received a, uh, has received layoffs. The Pacifica Executive Director Arlene Engelhart's plan for today and Uh, She told us a few minutes ago for perhaps 10 days or so is to bring, instead of KPFA's morning show, morning programming piped in from Los Angeles.